Welcome back. Well, as you're traveling down the track, turning left, you don't want to think about holding your car together. And that's where you need to start out with ADP Rivet. And I'm here with Peter. And Peter, this is a great system that you have here. Uh, a lot of drivers raving about it as well. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, thank you. We've been doing this for about 28 years, making rivets in the US. And about four years ago, uh, we saw a little trend in the racing industry where people were using uh, not domestic, but import rivets. And there was a, a phase of uh, quality issues and product issues. And it was time for us to look at developing new technology. So we canvassed uh, an assortment of racetracks across the East Coast, Midwest, and a little bit out on the West Coast. And we asked people, what would be the ultimate racer's rivet? The, the one rivet that you could use and say, this does everything I ever dreamed of for, for riveting. I know a lot of people don't think about rivets because it's usually the last thing they put on the car to hold it together. And um, we had a list of things that they complained about with other products. And we developed a rivet that ultimately solved all of their problems. Uh, costs less, it's made in the U.S., it saves them money, saves them time, saves them fingers because they don't cut their fingers anymore on sharp edges. And it does all the things they ask for, like working in oversized holes. It solves the problem of not having to put a backup washer behind the panel. Uh, a lot of the ladies like that because they're, when they're working on their husband's car, they don't cut their fingers on the backside of sharp metal. Um, oversized holes is a common problem in racing because they're always replacing panels. And our rivet will work. It's a 3 16 diameter rivet. It solves oversized, oblong, out of shape holes up to a quarter of an inch oversized. So it really solves that problem. They're extremely easy to drill out, which is when they have to do quick repairs either in the pits or during the weekdays before they get on Saturday night. The rivet just drills aluminum, pops the rivet right out. They're ready to go again in, in seconds. That is, that is exactly what everybody wants. When you're going down the raceway, putting on a show, thinking about that checkered flag, you don't want to be thinking about your rivets. True. And that's going give, to give you that peace of mind that maybe you excel ahead. Yes. Um, over the years, there's been other rivets introduced to the market. And some of them catch on, some of them don't. And, and again, by talking to the actual racers and the people that work in the pits and fix the cars, it's how we develop the ultimate rivet, the one that solves just about we haven't found one that it hasn't solved yet i'm sure there's going to be one someday but uh, the latest technology they're going to composite materials and fiberglass body panels our rivet works on those it doesn't crack the bodies it doesn't crack the composites uh, it even works in plexiglass and, and lexan so it's it's one rivet that solves all their problems plus they can use it anywhere it uh, fastens tight from paper thin up to a half inch so they only need to buy one rivet. Uh, no need to carry around a toolbox full of rivets. Uh, this one rivet will do everything. Just amazing. And, you know, that's going to mean so much when you go out to the track, especially when you're going to make a repair out there. You don't want to have to be looking for the right rivet. I mean, you grab your gun, you'll be able to get it done, and it's not going to take up all your day. Right. The speed, of course, is important, and ease of use. Um, a lot of times the riveting is left to someone who's not going to be working underneath the car so they want to be able to have a user-friendly rivet and not have to worry about do I get a backup washer how do I use the rivet this one is user-friendly they, they can't make it fail it's that simple well right now Peter we're actually going to go out where the rubber meets the road and talk to a few people who use these on their cars I'd appreciate that because it's nothing better than getting actual uh, testimonials from people that use the rivet Joining me right now is Mike Duvall from Duvall's Driving School. And Mike, uh, what do you think about ADP rivets? Well, every pop rivet in this thing is ADP, and uh, this is 2000 Duvall Driving School car. And we built it in like three days, and uh, like I said, uh, they got different rivets as far as uh, the, the plastic and the aluminum and the steel. And uh, I tell you what, it's the best rivets I've ever used. Really, and you know, it's, it's nice that they're made in America and they're quality, and really it's not your uh, everyday rivet, is it? I tell you what, amen to that because, uh, you know, no, it's, it's not, uh, I've used a lot of different rivets before, but, uh, you know, the ADP's been the best. I mean, like I said, I, I enjoy using them, and, and the gun, they got, they got that gun where it's battery operated, and boy, it's super too. That's a pretty slick operation, isn't it? Especially if you're racing out of town. We use it in the shop. And, uh, you know, if you're out of town, you know, you don't have to have M cords and all that stuff. You just you just use that hand hand deal pop rivet gun, and it's it's, it's good to go. You know, zippity-doo-dah, it's done, and you don't have to worry about it at all. No, I like it, you know, when it pops, and then you just smash another button, and it pushes it out. <laughs> That's what's neat. Well, easy enough. Well, Mike, thanks so much for being on. Uh, thank you. 
Joining me right now is Charles Gibson from Gibson Motorsports. And Charles, as I understand, your son, the editor of Circle Track, drives this car, and you guys like ADP rivets. Is that right? That is correct. We use uh, the rivets exclusively. ADP rivets are the best rivets out there. We don't have to use backup washers. We don't have to worry about the uh, heads breaking off and our guys getting their hands all cut up. Uh, we will not put anything but uh, ADP rivets on the on our race cars. Solves a lot of problems, doesn't it? It solves a lot of problems. It also, you know, we don't have to worry about them coming apart whenever we're out there racing. Uh, running at Bristol Speedway, uh, you know, at 130 miles an hour, Rockingham 170 miles an hour, we don't have to worry about that and we have to have the rivets on the car to, to hold the bodies together and hold parts together and that whole process has been taken out of our hands and we don't have to worry about it. And that uh, electric gun, that is slick, isn't it? We, uh, that is a very impressive. I've, I've never seen one before. To be truthfully honest, I have not got to use it yet, um, but my son's wanting to write an article about it. He is so impressed with it. He has seen it. I haven't had a chance to see it or actually use it, but I'm looking forward to using it. Well, easy enough. Well, Charles, thanks so much for being on. Thank you very much, sir. Myself, personally, I built uh, over 1,700 late model cars, dirt, dirt and pavement both. But the fascinating thing about me is... is uh, Used several brands of rivets over the years, naturally, and, and uh, thought they was doing a good job. And was just absolutely shocked when I bumped into Peter there and found out how much difference you could make a rivet. And, and uh, now I sit there and think, how could I use that junk all these years? Well, the, well, the bottom line is they didn't exist till now. But uh, the average rivet, a shake loose, uh, doesn't pull up tight, and then doggone that new rivet he got, uh, fills up some oversized hose, you don't cut yourself up, it pulls up tight, it's just, I would have never dreamed anybody could make that many changes in that simple of a product. One, uh, one man show a lot of places on these cars, uh, you can't get back there with a backup washer at all, and, and these making their own backup washers, well, problem solved, you know. Just amazing. Well, Gary, thanks so much for being on. Joining me right now is Corey LaJoy, son of Randy LaJoy and the LaJoy of seating. And uh, Corey, as I understand, you've tore up a few cars in your days. Is that right? It's been a learning year, to, uh, to put it lightly. Yeah, we use all ADP rivets to put all the body parts back on the car. Uh, you know, we use them on the Joy of seating seats, too, for the covers, for the clips and the covers and the leg braces. We use them. They're real good rivets. We use them a lot. They're just amazing, aren't they? I mean, uh, they're a one-stop rivet. You don't have to go looking for uh, the next rivet that's going to fit an oversized hold or anything like that that you might create. Exactly right. You don't have two handfuls of washers and a handful of rivets. You just got one handful of rivets, and you just put them in there and go. All right. Well, good enough. Well, Corey, hey, good luck, and uh, thanks for being on. Thank you, sir. Well, Peter, I tell you what, they could not say enough good words about ADP rivet. This is the rivet that's going to solve all the problems out there. One rivet. Made in America, your company, steeped in history, listening to the racer, and that's why we have such a ribbit as we do right now. Right now, Peter, I know you have to have the attention of all our viewers. What's the best way for them to learn more about ADP Rivet? They could consult with our website. Hit our website. It's www.adprivet.com. And our website has a lot of action videos, a lot of infield demonstrations, a lot of how-to exposure and, and explanations on how to use the rivet. It also has a section on how to use our cordless rivet tools. Uh, they're very innovative. Uh, they're very uh, easy to use, cordless rivet tools. Uh, we, permanent modification of a cordless drill. Uh, this one's a tight fitting right angle drill and it fits in spaces that most tools won't fit. Quick and easy to use. Again, very user friendly. Uh, anybody could use them. It's just a matter of pushing the button of activating the drill, reversing the button to take the nail out after the rivet is set. Again, user friendly, low cost, energy savings, and we all have to think about not wasting uh, energy with gas or nitrogen, and um, you don't have to run an air compressor with these tools, so it, it helps that way as well. Well, Peter, you have thought of everything and taken care of all the needs out there. It has been a privilege having Thank you on. Thank you. Thank you very much.